Yeah, we're in this current right now of manifestation. A lot of people's you know, seeds that have been planted previously have come to manifestation now. And so a lot of us are enjoying the fruits of that. Some of you guys are saying, I'm trying to manifest. I, I have this thing. I want, I want these things to accomplish, but it's not accomplishing. It's because you're not doing the work. And so it's important to understand what the work is. And I'm, let me tell you something. A lot of times you guys misunderstand what work means. A lot of times the work is getting rid of that relationship. A lot of times the work is I'm going to stand up for myself. And actually, I'm gonna, I am going to proceed with this, this legal matter because I need to stand up for what's, what's for me. Guess what will come through in those channels? Abundance. Wealth. You never know. You're, you have a legal matter like, well, they did me wrong, but I need to stand up for myself. And then you get a, a nice form of a big check from that lawsuit because you stood up for yourself and it worked in your favor. So these little changes, these little realizations that you are making can plant more nuggets of and opportunities and open channels where wealth and abundance can flow through you very easily. But we don't take those little actions, those little steps. You're leaving yourself stuck and you're leaving yourself in lack. And also you're continuing the, the, the cycle of deprivation. Because then you, you believe that you don't deserve any better. And so affirming ain't going to do shit because your actions and how you're behaving is what's dictating what you're experiencing. You can say 1,000 times how abundant you are, but when you're stuck in depriving situations and you're not doing anything to get yourself out of it, you don't truly believe that you are worth more. And that's going to be your outcome every single time. So stop being the anchor. It's time to wake up. That's what the awakening is. All this woke shit and, and awakening people are talking about is not an awakening. What I'm trying to say is about the awakening and getting out of this spiritual new age crap haze that we need to get out of and get into the truth and the power that we have to really, to really manifest, to really manifest. And I say again, manifestation is a realization, a realization of your soul, actual destiny purpose. And we can maneuver and create little things along the way in our path and we can expand and we can, we can even alter our destiny in this current lifetime if we're in tune to it, if we're in tune to it. When you evolve from your karma of your past and you learn your karmic lessons and you're in tune to your destiny and the growth that you intend to come here for, you can rewrite your destiny. You can expand and re-alter your destiny. Then you can have a more manifestational type of experience at that point. I would say karma doesn't mean punishment. Karma means memory. Memory from your past experiences, past incarnations that are carrying this carnation that need to be resolved. And when we resolve that, then we can have more leeway of what we want to dictate and control in this life. Okay, but this is what the wealth mindset is, guys. The wealth mindset isn't complacency. The wealth mindset isn't delusion. The wealth mindset isn't, I'm sticking, I don't know what to do, I'm stuck, and there's nothing better for me. That's not the wealth mindset. The wealth mindset is continuous expansion and continuously evolve and putting value into what you have currently and making it greater. That's the wealth mindset. It's increasing the value and it also increasing your appreciation of what you have to build more. Some of you guys have so much resource right now to be building more in your lives. You're not doing anything about it. Wealth ain't coming. Wealth is not coming. Wealth is coming. When you say, you know, I have all this stuff that I've done, I have all these skill sets, I'm going to abandon, I'm going to, uh, you know, evolve and to grow with this and, and expand it and wealth will be coming to you. You're on, the, you're on alignment with the wealth if you do that. So you guys have the power to do this. And a lot of you guys are really in that essence. And so, you know, if it's taking time, be patient with that. You're on your way. A lot of you guys are, are on the path of wealth and on that path to abundance. But there's a process. There, there's a road to get there. And there's things that we have to clear out in order to be able to be open to be a match to that. So some of you guys are, are doing so great on that. And some of you guys are really kind of, you can feel it, you can see it. But it really isn't about the actual material, the, the material result of that. That's just confirmation. It's the fact you feel free. It's the fact you feel free about really not needing those things, that you feel free with your essence. That's true wealth and abundance. And then, of course, the money and all that tangible stuff will just come in easily. And you won't even really be so hung up over those things. So remember, the wealth is a result. It's a result of your overall well-being and your intentions and how you're moving forward in your life. That's the key. I feel rich in my relationships. I feel rich in my family. I feel rich in my career. I feel rich in my abilities. I feel rich in what I express, my creativity. I feel rich in my home. I feel that vi vibrance all the time. All the time. I, I'm rich in how I express myself in my life. I'm rich in how I feel free in my life. I'm rich of how I've grown from my traumas. Like that, you can't, material things can't confirm or deny that. Only your soul can. And when you're in that essence, the physicality doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. And that's the true freedom we're talking about.